Hello students under the topic Lagrange's linear partial differential equation here we have problem 9 the question is xp minus yq is equal to xy so first of all let us write this in the standard form so this is the standard form and comparing with the standard form we get the value of capital p p to be equal to x and the value of capital q to be equal to negative y and the value of capital r to be equal to xy so we have written p q and r now let us write the auxiliary equation so this is the auxiliary equation of the lagrange's partial differential equation now let us substitute the value of p q and r that we have found in this uh, auxiliary equation so when we substitute we get dx by capital p is what x is equal to dy by capital q which is negative y is equal to d z by capital r which is x y so now we have written the auxiliary equation and let us mark this as 1 2 and 3 respectively so first i am going to compare equation 1 and 2 so what do we get so we get dx by x is equal to dy by negative y now let us integrate on both the sides what is integral dx by x it is log x so let me write it here and then equal to we have the negative sign so let us write the negative sign what is integral dy by y it is log y and since we have logarithm for these two functions we have to take the constant as log c1 so taking this to the left we get log x plus log y to be equal to logarithm of c1 and from this by using the rule log a plus log b equal to log ab we can write this as log xy so we are using the rule from the logarithm is equal to log c1 so while comparing on both the sides we get the solution c1 to be equal to xy so this is the first solution therefore the solution u is equal to xy the next step is we have to find the second solution for which we have to compare the other two equations it can be either 1 and 3 or it can be either 2 and 3 as well which is completely of our choice so now here i am going to compare equation 1 and 3 so while comparing 1 and 3 i get dx by x equal to d z by xy now if you see i can cancel this x which is there on both the sides but when i do so i also observe that we will be having dx is equal to d z by y we can easily uh, integrate dx but what about d z by y it cannot be integrated because both the variables are different so when when we are stuck up like that we can compare the other two equations that is 2 and 3 but if you see in that also this y and y will get cancelled and we will be left out with negative dy equal to dz by x so x uh, we have uh, in uh, here it will be integral dy and here it will be integral dz by x which cannot be integrated so now we cannot fix with uh, 1 and 3 or 2 and 3 as well so now what to do we have to continue this problem by using the method of substitution that is we have to take the solution that we have obtained first that is the first solution and substitute over here now what is the first solution c1 is equal to xy so that xy has to be replaced by c1 we will do this kind of substitution when we are not able to compare the equations so remember that so now dx by x will be equal to d z by what is xy it is c1 so here we have to substitute c1 now we can integrate on both the sides and the integral of dx by x is log x and that is equal to 1 by c1 is a constant so 1 by c1 what is the integral of d is z it is z plus c2 so now from this we get log x to be equal to and uh, is it divided by what is c1 now we will replace c1 by xy so xy plus c2 now from this the uh, sorry, uh, we have to find the solution c2 right so c2 will be equal to log x minus taking this to the right minus z by xy so this is the second solution therefore the solution v is equal to log x minus z by xy so we have obtained the solution u and the solution v 
therefore the general solution phi of u comma v equal to 0 will be what is u x y so phi of x y comma v is log x minus z by x y is equal to 0 so this is the final solution so hope you have understood this kind of problem this is a slightly different problem in lagrange's linear partial differential equation so while solving uh, i compared the first and the second equation and i have obtained the first solution but while comparing 1 and 3 and 2 and 3 i couldn't arrive at the solution since there was different variables that is dz by y so in for that reason i have made a substitution of xy from the first solution as c1 and then after finding the after integrating i have replaced the c1 by xy because final solution should be of this form so therefore i have obtained the final solution so hope you have understood this problem thank you